Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's misconception in astronomy, we are going to talk about our Earth and how long it takes the Earth to rotate and find out if that is indeed 24 hours, which is the length of our day. So does the Earth rotate? How long does it take the Earth to rotate, I should say? And we find out that really it does not take 24 hours to rotate around the Earth's axis once. It actually is very close to that. It is 23 hours and 56 minutes. It's off by about four minutes. Now, why is this? Well, this actually occurs because the Earth has multiple motions. So the day that we use that is 24 hours long is based on the sun and how long it takes the sun to get back at the same point in the sky. Think of that as noon to noon when the sun is due south one day until it is due south the next day. That takes about 24 hours. Now the Earth actually rotates a little bit faster than that. And we can see a little bit of that in the image here that's shown. And there we see the Earth on day one. And at that point, Earth is pointing directly toward the sun. This person here, figure standing there, pointing directly toward the sun straight overhead. and pointing towards imagine a distant point on the celestial sphere a distant star it's pointing to both of those together now a day later the earth has rotated once but it's also moved a little bit around the sun and it's moved about one degree it takes 365 days for the earth to go around the sun once and there are 360 degrees in a circle so it's pretty close to one degree that it has moved and what that means is that when the person is back to the same position relative to the stars, that is what we call one sidereal day later. But it takes a little bit of time for the Earth to rotate that extra degree to get the sun back in position. Now we can go ahead and take a look at this in an animation as well. So let's go ahead and watch this and see here we have the Earth rotating, but notice how it's slowly moving around the sun. So watch the timers there. The white one has closed. That is the sidereal day. That is 23 hours and 56 minutes. It takes four more minutes than for it to get back to having the sun in the same spot. So again, this is greatly exaggerated so that we can see it. But it's the difference between what the solar day, which is what our time is based on, and the sidereal day, which is based on the stars. So astronomers can use the sidereal day because then the stars will rise at the same time every day. When we use the solar day, the stars rise four minutes earlier every single day. So the stars will rise a little bit earlier every day. And that changes the constellations that are visible in the evening sky. So if you go out and look at the evening sky in summer and you look out, you might see constellations like Sagittarius and Scorpius, which would be out over the southern horizon. Whereas months later, you might see constellations like Orion, which weren't visible before. And other times you will see other different constellations. So which constellations you see then just depends on where the Earth is in its orbit around the sun. But because the two are not lined up exactly, then we end up with the case where the different constellations are visible at different times. So let's go ahead and finish up and summarize what we've looked at here. And what we've talked about is, first of all, our 24 hour day, the day that we use is based on the sun, not on Earth's rotation. We have a solar day and a sidereal day, which differ by four minutes, the solar day being about four minutes longer than the sidereal day. And this causes the stars and constellations to rise four minutes earlier each day. So that concludes this week's misconception in astronomy on the idea that the Earth rotates once every 24 hours. We'll be back again next week for another misconception in astronomy. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.